Greetings, dear viewers. Uh, here I am um, outside a certain house on, um, in Holland Park uh, in London. So this uh, is a very handsome early 19th century house, as you can see, spacious, a bit of a garden at the back, I happen to know. This house is uh, the former residence of the late Viscount Stansgate. He used to go by the alias Tony Benn. Um, he was a socialist parliamentarian for many years, born in 1925. His father was Secretary of State for India. Um, Tony Benn said that imperialism was utterly wicked, though he never denounced his father as evil, which logically he must have done if, if he was consistent. And he attended Westminster and New College Oxford. He was in the RAF in the Second World War. And typically he was a BBC journalist before being a Labour MP. Um, he inherited his, his title, Viscount Stansgate, from um, uh, his father in 1960 and he had to leave Parliament, he wanted to get back into Parliament, he wanted to disclaim his hereditary title. He thought the whole notion of hereditary titles was nonsensical, and just a medieval farce. But uh, the, the court declared his Conservative opponent, who got fewer votes, was the MP, because a peer of the realm cannot be an MP. Anyway, it took a Renunciation of Peerages Act, and eventually um, Lord Stansgate renounced his title and was able to be uh, a Member of Parliament again. He stood to be deputy leader of the Labour Party in the early 80s, and narrowly lost. He was always known as a doyen of the far left. Well, he was a bit moderate in the 50s, actually. He was a Eurosceptic throughout his career, but for a brief period in the late 60s. Um, so that's him. So he died in 2014, um, that March. Um, he had his funeral service where it was in St Margaret's, the parish church of Parliament. Because it wasn't the former Prime Minister, it wasn't Westminster Abbey. His son, Hilary Benn, is a notable uh, Labour moderate. Uh, someone who advocated um, air spikes against ISIS. So um, Tony Benn supported really every enemy the United Kingdom ever had since the since the Second World War. He wanted to kick Northern Ireland out of the UK, things like that. But it didn't stop him being a multi-millionaire, and he cared about the penurious. Did he give his house to the poor? Did he fuck? He gave it to his uh, children, and they went to a comprehensive, Holland Park comprehensive, one of the most socially exclusive state schools in the country, and that's all the rest of it. I used to come here and press the buzzer, buzzer get him to come out and uh, annoy him a little bit. I, I asked, in 2008, I asked him whether he wanted to be John McCain's running mate. That's all. Goodbye.